Hello EmacsConf and hello fellow Emacs fans. My name is Michael Bauer and I'm from Germany. I'm gonna talk to you about why and how Emacs should become a Wayland compositor. And it already kinda is a Wayland compositor. Um, this talk is composed by Wayland and Emacs. If I'm talking about a Wayland compositor in, uh, or Emacs a Wayland compositor, I mean it in the sense that XVM is an X a window manager. I hope you know XWM. Um, so why? Emacs can do Wayland now. That was a, a stopper before and now it's solved with PGTK branch. Um, it makes the Emacs toolbox bigger, which is always a good thing. And the cool thing about Wayland, which is not possible under X, is it can, it can run standalone on the Linux kernel interface or nested under X or even nested under Wayland. So, um, the compositor features of Emacs are not, it doesn't mean it has to take all, uh, over the whole output. It can use them even if it's just like a, a normal window, a normal program. And last reason is um, I want to keep living inside Emacs and Wayland is the future apparently. XWM use case is the first use case. Um, it's um, you put a take a Wayland surface and put it inside an Emacs window. You see it right uh, below. Uh, the video of me is uh, uh, a Wayland surface and it's inside an Emacs window managed by Emacs. Emacs does the input in the clipboard handling and can insert itself here and do um, uh, great things. And it's a possibility to lispify the Linux desktop as Emacs lispifies the command line. The other use case is the HX widget use case. I don't know if you know X, X widgets, X widgets. It's uh, embedded X windows inside Emacs. There's um, a web browser available in Emacs. Um, with Wayland, you could create embed anything that can create a, a Wayland surface like video, web or 3D. Uh, think OpenGL, like something like Emacs GL would be possible. And we wouldn't have just videos, no videos, images like we have so far. So how to implement this Wayland compositor. I'm gonna tell you how I did it, uh, or I did this demo I'm showing you right now. First of all, how does Wayland work? Wayland is a protocol in XML. Um, it's a server and a client and they share a set of objects and the objects have methods. They are spe specified in the protocol. And Wayland also says, uh, uh, says how the um, server and client talk to each other. Um, first blocker for um, Emacs becoming a Wayland compositor is that Emacs and Wayland have both have their own event loop and you can't merge them too. But you don't have to merge them because you can just make Emacs speak Wayland. So Emacs becomes a Wayland client and there's an extra server uh, Emacs is talking to. So we need like kind of a minimal Wayland server that does all the stuff Emacs can't do and do the rest in Emacs. And the minimal Wayland server, I, uh, I did it in WL roots. That's um, the library behind Sway. I think it's the um, Valent library to do stuff like this. Um, I implemented four different things to make it work. <clears throat> it's these um, three letter acronyms on the left. It's Emacs, Valent, and then it's a server, a client, a protocol, and buffers. The server is written in C and it's um, mostly tiny WL. It's the example of WL roots and it's around 1000 lines of code. EWC, the Wayland client in Emacs is um, the thing I'm most proud of. It's uh, 300 lines of code and it is a 
fully featured Valex, uh, Valent client, client and Emacs. So with this, Emacs can speak Valent. And then I implemented a Emacs Valent protocol. It more or less allows Emacs to become a Valent window manager. So it's not actually the compositor. The compositor stays in C, but Emacs is now a Valent window manager. And the last th thing is Evex Valent buffers. It's the window manager part. It's uh, around 500 lines of code and it does the buffer management um, inside Emacs windows or floating right you, uh, like you see uh, me now floating on the right. It works, but it is still buggy and it is also missing input handling. So there's more code to come for this to work. Some caveats about this approach. VLW roots is around 60 kilologs and an active development. They have like a slogan, 60 kilologs of um, code you had to write anyway to make a valent compositor. And no, you don't have to write it. But I still remember when it was like 50 kilologs and now it's 60. And it's like a moving target. I think it's it could be quite a lot of work to keep up with it. If yeah, it could be quite a bit of work. Um, some windows don't um, like to keep the aspect ratios. You tell them and you have to crop them. And the uh, interface I use in WL Roots for doing this, we, uh, WLR scene, can't do cropping yet. So this doesn't work. Um, another problem is with GTK. Once Valent is enabled, um, and it stays on. This doesn't make sense. Okay. If you kill the valent server, GTK kills Emacs. That's not a good thing. And it's still a bit of work and fussing needed to get this to work re reliably. It's quite buggy right now. And that's brings me to my call to action. Um, I think making Emacs surveillance capable is a further th step to make an Emacs OS. Like it gains output and input handling. Output handling is already there. Input handling is still missing, but Emacs can um, manage monitors, outputs, different frames if it's like nested and uh, inputs, keyboards, um, simulation key stuff like that. Um, we could use it for in more ways for Emacs display, maybe. Valent just ma manages simple pixel buffers. So it's a protocol for managing pixel buffers. And in this, uh, in a sense, we could go back to the old X ways and maybe even ditch GTK. I don't know, but why, why need it? Like we can <laughs> composite without it. Let's make a buffer menus, buffer world, buffer. Um, Impex Valent protocol, like I did it, allows a very concise design and uh, it allows to improve on the XVM code base. And I wrote KISS style because um, XVM has um, workspace management integrated and I don't think that's needed. Like Emacs does it. Why do you have to do something extra? So why do it? Okay. To finish the call to action, if this is a thing you want to see in Emacs, maybe you want to get involved, have some ideas so we could um, discuss it. I'm looking forward um, to discuss with you and hear your questions and ideas. Um, I want to say a big thank you to the organizers of EmacsConf and the other speakers for making um, this event possible. Thank you and see you.